Welcome back with more experience and now the third of my uh, series uh, of videos about my trip to Liverpool. This time it's about the so-called Cavern Quarter, you know, around Matthew Street. This is Matthew Street where the famous Cavern Club, where the Beatles played so many hundreds of shows was was because it's not you know the the initial building um they they tore it down in the early 60s they couldn't see the value it had and so it was replaced by a parking lot but you know of course a few years later they rebuilt it and now it's a tourist attraction here's the grapes that's the pub where john paul and george used to go for a pint of beer it's also a skit a sketch on, on life at the bbc album where they're referencing the the grapes, the pub. And this is Matthew Street. That, that, that's uh, first of all where the original Cavern Club was. Well, now there's the parking lot, and where also the rebuilt one, which is like 20 meters, you know, one building next to the where the original was. There's a 100% uh, uh, accurate um, replica of the original club. Here, not that there's Silla Black, a statue of Silla Black, and here's uh, the entrance to where the original Cavern Club was um most famous club in the world but as i said like 20 meters separated from it now we're walking to where the cabin club now is and you will go with me inside um you know it's five pounds you have to pay a fee of five, five pounds and you can go inside and be there as long as you want and there's always live music beetle you know beetle music performed live so it's a nice you know it's a nice um atmosphere there if you're a beetle fan of course um, so now go with me down to the cab. <laughs> This, this footage now is not filmed in where the, the new Cavern Club is, but this is a Beatle Museum also in Liverpool called The Beatle Story, recommended, it's a great exhibition and they have filmed uh, you know, an empty Cavern Club um, with the Beatles um, equipment here. Um, yeah, um, you know, Cavern Quarter is of course one of the more touristy attractions of Liverpool and one could say it's, you know, it's where, where it's First and foremost, I met British English people here on on a trip to you know drink lots of beer. The highlights, the real highlights in Liverpool were like you know the suburbs of Penny Lane, Woolton, Allerton, you know the places where they grew up. But still, great great experience. Um, yeah, to have been uh, at the Cavern Club and and in at Matthew in Matthew Street and yeah, it was a great trip. Here is the book that I've talked about um, before uh, in the first of my three Liverpool videos that I bought at Strawberry Field. This is a signed copy of Julia Baird's book that you can buy at Strawberry Field. Here's the, the, the autograph. I didn't meet her there, unfortunately. You know, she, I, I heard she's still often at Strawberry Field um, working there. Um, John Lennon's half-sister, but you know, I got this signed copy of the book. Also a nice thing I, I purchased in Liverpool. This is probably the best of the Beatles shops, you know, Beatle merchandising, Beatle record shops in Liverpool. This felt the most authentic. It's just called the Beatles shop. It's in Matthew Street where the cavern is. And, you know, lots of very touristy merch shops, of course, where you can buy Beatles shirts that you could, you know, order on Amazon and, 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 and mugs and, and things like that, which is also nice, don't get me wrong. But the Beatles shop was really kind of curated by the uh, record store owner there and I bought really something that's quite rare, I think. Uh, a 7 inch of Young Boy, you know, it's from the mid-90s, 1997. 
um, which was the time when vinyl wasn't you know around that much so no didn't overpay for it and it's a colored vinyl and I have, and it's not just uh, for you know it wasn't just the collector in me um, who, who's happy to have bought this but you know the b-side looking for you never heard that before this was probably one of the last few Paul McCartney songs released Paul McCartney songs I never knew and it's a great b-side b-side to a young boy and it's probably one of the last collaborations in the studio that Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr ever did because it has Ringo Starr on drums 1997 recorded 1996 so also great purchase in Liverpool so that those were my Liverpool videos um, Next week I will do, um, I guess I will do a, a London video, I also visited London when I was in, in the UK um, and then that's that for, for, with that trip. Thank you very much for watching, until next time, goodbye.